find the derivative of y equal to 1 over x from first principle. Let's get some space on this board. Okay, so if y is equal to 1 over x, and we want to take the derivative from first principle, then what will be y plus delta y? That should be 1 over x plus delta x. Now making delta y the subject of this equation, delta y will be 1 over x plus delta x minus y. That is, I move this y across the quality and it becomes minus y here. But y is 1 over x. So instead of writing minus y then, let's replace it with 1 over x so minus 1 over x. So now we can solve this fraction LCM of x plus delta x and x is x plus delta x times x. Then we put the s in front. So that by this, that is, if I divide this LCM by this x plus delta x, look at this. You can I do that x times x plus delta x, x. This will cancel this, so we left with x. So this LCM divided by this is x. Now x times 1 is x. Then the LCM divided by this x is x that will be cancelled. Y x plus delta x will remain. Look at it. x times x plus delta x divided by x. X cancelled. Then we are left with x plus delta x. I'm just solving a fraction, just like we used to do in normal fraction. If I have 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3, for example, I need to look for LCM of 2 and 3, which is 6. Then to solve the fraction, I divide 6 by 3, uh, by 2 here, which is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. Divide 6 by 3, which is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. And then the fraction is solved like that. It's the same thing I'm doing here. So LCM of x plus delta x by x. Now take that LCM, use it to divide this denominator, whatever is the answer. Use it to multiply the numerator. Do the same thing here. That is exactly what I'm doing here. So this will be minus x plus delta x. So delta y is equal to that. Okay, now let's open up these brackets. So this will be x minus x as this minus x over x times s plus delta x. Now x minus x is zero, which means delta y is equal to negative delta x over x times x plus delta x. Now dividing both sides by delta x will be negative delta x over x times x plus delta x divided by delta x. I intentionally use division instead of over so I can point out what I want to point out today. When I'm divided by a fraction and when you divide by a fraction, the sign of division will change to multiplication. So this delta y over delta x is equal to negative delta x over x times x plus delta x. This is x here. Don't know what's wrong with my name. Times 1 over delta x. Now if this division changes to multiplication, they will multiply by the reciprocal of this fraction. So delta x divided by delta x, 1. Therefore, delta y over delta x is equal to negative 1 over x. Let me just open up this bracket. x times x is x squared plus x delta x. Now, limit of delta y over delta x as delta x approaches 0 is equal to, well, this will be 0 since delta x is approaching 0. Remember, limit of the quotient, you take the limit of the numerator, the limit of the denominator. So if I take the limit of this denominator, limit of x squared is x squared, as long as it's delta s that is approaching 0. Then limit of x delta s is 0, because delta s is approaching 0. Therefore, our derivative of y equal to 1 over x is what? From first principle.